Chapter 4, Home and Office Smart Thermostat Installation. This chapter provides step-by-step -step instructions on how to install the smart thermostat for a home or office. Chapter 6 will cover reasons for and how to perform switch installations. Before you perform your first appointment, it is highly recommended that you review the operating manual for the smart thermostat to familiarize yourself with its settings and features. If the customer systems pass the pre-qualification procedures presented in Chapter 3, you are ready to prepare for installation of either the smart thermostat or switch. Provide the customer with the pre-temperature chart. Ask them to complete the pre-temperature chart while you begin the installation process. There are different pre-temperature charts for residential and commercial customers. You will first need to shut off the power to the indoor air handler or furnace following lockout tagout procedures. Before you turn the power off, turn the fan setting to on using the thermostat. This will help you determine if power to the air handler was successfully turned off. Only approved lockout tagout devices are to be employed and testing for voltage will be performed using the non-contact voltage detection tester provided. If the equipment cannot be properly locked out, you cannot perform the installation. Notify the customer why installation cannot be performed. Return systems to their original settings and request to perform the energy efficiency assessment. At the completion of the appointment, you will need to notify your supervisor why the installation was not performed. Place a shop towel underneath the customer's thermostat to catch debris created during installation activities. Loosen the existing thermostat from the wall, being careful to not disconnect existing wiring. Following the connections on the existing thermostat, Label each wire with the corresponding label to the existing connections or draw a wiring schematic of the existing wiring connections. Remove the existing thermostat and place it in the smart thermostat box and set it aside. Do not place it in your toolbox as you may need to leave the old thermostat with the customer. If the customer's thermostat is suspected of containing mercury, carefully place it in a sealed Ziploc bag and then place it in the smart thermostat box. Secure the wires to ensure that they do not fall into the wall cavity. Inspect the footprint where the old thermostat was mounted to confirm the proper mounting location for the smart thermostat. If you need to install a wall plate, receive approval from the customer first. Visually inspect the exposed thermostat wiring. Make sure the wire insulation is not stripped or cracked. Inspect the existing wire jacket for additional wires that could be used as a fifth wire for the common wire. If there is no fifth wire in the jacket, you will need to install a fifth wire wiring module, which we will discuss later in this chapter. Once you identify a fifth wire, you will need to ensure that you use the same fifth wire at the furnace. Lightly mark the wall for screw locations using a pencil by pressing the base plate against the wall and using a level. Strip the insulation from the thermostat wire for new connections. Add wire extensions if needed. Remove the smart thermostat from the bag and place it on top of the bag. Remove a serial number sticker from the back of the smart thermostat and place it on the work order. The smart thermostat has two serial number stickers. You will need to place the second serial number sticker on the customer quick reference guide on the username line. Seal the opening in the wall with foam insulation tape if necessary. Mount the wall plate if needed and approved by the customer and the smart thermostat base plate on the wall leaving the screws lightly loose to assist in leveling. Use anchors for drywall. Make the hole in the pre-marked location. Use drywall screws, which are the black screws, for plaster lath walls. Let's take a look at the terminals on the base plate of the smart thermostat. 
The inner terminals on both sides of the center hole are to be used for conventional systems. The outer terminals on both sides of the center hole are to be used for heat pump systems. The terminals are marked on the base plate. These are referenced in your student manual. For this training program, we will review how to wire the smart thermostat for a conventional system. Your student manual has a reference on how to properly wire the smart thermostat for conventional systems and heat pumps. Use the wiring diagram you made of the old thermostat wiring connections to connect the wires to the smart thermostat in the same manner. You will need to connect the common wire chosen to the connection point of the terminal board marked C or the identified connect point at the fan center. Ensure that you use the same wire as the wire chosen for C at the smart thermostat. Inspect that the wires are secured to the base plate terminals. Carefully feed any extra wire length into the hole and press the wire so that they are flat and in the center of the base plate cavity. Now you are ready to affix the smart thermostat to the base plate. Remove the shipping plastic tab from the battery compartment to connect the battery. Ensure that the battery tray is fully seated in the smart thermostat body. Line up the smart thermostat body with the base plate and carefully but firmly press the smart thermostat into place, making sure not to force the connection pins in place. Let's now take a look at the wiring module procedures if there are only four wires. The wiring module is used to split the signal received from the thermostat and direct it to operate the compressor and or the fan for normal operation. The wiring module is a separate device that could be mounted on the furnace or on the wall adjacent to the furnace as dictated by the surroundings. At the smart thermostat, select wires to place in the K, R, C, and W terminals, being consistent as to how the thermostat was previously wired. Make note of what wires you have selected for these terminals. At the furnace, Disconnect the wire that is on the Y terminal and bend it out of the way. Disconnect the wire that is currently installed in the G terminal and connect it to the C terminal. Inspect the outside of the furnace for an appropriate place to mount the wiring module. Be sure to check the inside of the furnace to ensure you will not drill screws through equipment or wiring. Measure the length of five wire thermostat wire that you will need from the wiring module to the furnace terminals. Cut and strip the wire at both ends. Wire the wiring module using the five wire thermostat wire. Use the same color of wire that you used at the smart thermostat for the K terminal, if that color is an option, for the K terminal on the wiring module. Wire the Y, G, C, and R terminals on the wiring module. Try and use colors that are consistent with existing wiring at the furnace terminal. Feed the five wire thermostat wire through the hole where the existing thermostat wire is entering into the furnace. Be careful not to bump and dislodge any existing wiring. Now mount the wiring module right side up. Connect the wires on the wiring module to the corresponding C, G, Y, and R terminals on the furnace. Use an electrical wire nut to connect the wire that you removed from the furnace's Y terminal to the wire that is connected to the K terminal on the wiring module. Replace the furnace door cover and return to the thermostat. See your student manual for an example wiring diagram for the wiring module. You have completed the installation. Now it is time to set up and test the smart thermostat. Restore power to the indoor unit. After you have restored power to the indoor unit, you will need to wait for five minutes to allow the smart thermostat to be continually powered before performing setup or testing procedures. If after five minutes the smart thermostat does not display the double dash, you may be in an area that has inadequate paging coverage. Paging can be affected by many local conditions, 
including the building structure, and may not always be able to communicate with the smart thermostat. You may want to investigate whether a switch mounted outside would receive a paging signal. We'll discuss switch installation in Chapter 6. To select the year, month, day, and time, use the arrows on the display. Once you are finished, press Done. You will now need to select the clock settings. Use the arrows to the right of the displayed time. You can press and hold the arrow to advance the time more quickly. Once you are finished, press Done. Before you continue, ensure that it has been five minutes since you restored power to the indoor unit. Now let's look at how to verify battery function. Ensure that the smart thermostat is displaying the correct date and time. Then carefully remove the smart thermostat from the base plate. Wait 10 seconds and then remount the smart thermostat. If the display indicates you need to set the date and time and does not go to the display screen, the battery is not properly connected. In this case, you will need to remove the battery tray, adjust the tabs to ensure adequate contact, and verify the battery polarity. Reinstall the battery tray, set the date and time, and repeat the steps to verify battery function. If the battery function cannot be verified or fails, do not proceed with setup and testing procedures for the smart thermostat. Use the backup smart thermostat to try and complete the installation. Remember, you will need to retrieve the serial number stickers from the back of the new smart thermostat for your work order. You will want to ensure that you use a new work